shop and chop today is salmon. So this is um, this is farm raised salmon, but um, it's really nice color. Is what you want to look for. You want to make sure the flesh is firm, that it doesn't smell, it's not slimy. Um, I've rinsed this off with cold water and I've dried it off uh, really good. Now uh, we have the first thing we're going to do right here is. There's some little bones right here. So we're gonna get these little rib bones here and we just see them, you can touch, you can feel, you run your finger this way and you can feel them. So like a little tiny one right here and we're just gonna go with some needle nose pliers and pull them straight out, just like that. That's the side. And we'll just run up the, uh, keep feeling for them, running up. So keep finding them as we go up. Straight out, and that was our last one. Oh no, so we have one right here, sorry. Let's pull that right out, like that. Okay, you wanna do the best not to not to chew up your, your meat right here. So that's why again, we just pull it straight out. So this is a side of salmon, which means one half of the salmon, and um, Still has the skin on, you can see. So we're gonna cut this skin off. We just took out the, uh, the little rib bones out of here by pulling it out with needle nose pliers. And so now we're just gonna take our slicing knife here, big slicing knife, and we're gonna just cut a little tab right here down to the skin. And then start cutting this direction we don't want to bend our knife too much because you want to just keep it flat against the cutting board. So now I'm going to grab this little tail piece with a, with a dry rag. I can hold on to it. And I'm going to glide my knife and pull the skin at the same time. So I'm pulling and gliding my knife, flattening the skin. See how I'm pulling the skin here? There we go. So here we are, it's been skinned. I've washed it off completely, washed off my cutting board. Uh, we're just gonna dry this, make sure this is completely dry. Both sides. Dry this off. So you can see here's the here's the other side of the fish after uh, after cutting off the skin. The biggest thing is you really want to keep fish dry for storage. Um, when you buy it from the store, you really want to even look at the package and see if there's water in the corner, like tip the, tilt, the, tilt the package and see if there's a little water in the corner. And um, you want to look for a package that doesn't have that because uh, fish can't sit in water. It will definitely rot. We can cut the tail off here and uh, try and get ourselves some even pieces is a nice thing to do. So we'll cut the tail off. And I even cut the head off here. And now we have a nice section in the middle that's really even. That you could even like wrap this in puff pastry dough and make um, salmon en croute. Or we can cut it into nice portions that everybody's gonna get, you know, the same portion. And then uh, stuff like this. Just cut this little uh, spine area out. Something like this is beautiful for sashimi. Making sure it's completely dry first, even before I wrap it in paper towel. And then I'm just going to, uh, just going to wrap it in paper towel like this. And I'll just wrap this, just put this in either a plastic bag or wrap it in plastic wrap. And ready to go in the fridge.